Mary Kay Kleist here with a check of our forecast. And uh, if it's this good, I'm guessing by mid December, <laughs> reality is going to. He yes. was peeking at my I maps <laughs> earlier that I was making. But you're right, Rob. Big change by the middle of December. But we have a little time to enjoy this nice weather. In fact, our weather watchers, it's so interesting. Depends where you were as far as how warm it was today. Rich and Gurney had a southeast wind coming right off that 43 degree lake. So his high only made it to 49 degrees. So if you were along the lakefront, that's why it felt chilly. But head to Manuka, head to Plainfield, 60 easily. Valparaiso, well, Raymond gives us 58 degrees for the afternoon high temperature. Now as we take a look at some beautiful shots of the sunset tonight. Wow, Jen Christensen finding that beautiful color just as the sun was going down. Same with Patrice in Chicago. She lives in the West Loop and is finding those pictures for us tonight. And you know, currently we have a 51 degree reading coming in from Rob in Francisville and he even says First class weather for late November. He played 18 holes today. Same plan for tomorrow. Well, you'd have to dodge a few raindrops, I think, if you went out there, Rob. And we currently have 55 degrees coming in from Manhattan with some clouds around. Now, as we look at the temperature trends, this is for the beginning of December when we're going to see that mild air bulge over Chicago. You can see that dip in the jet over Denver and the Four Corners region. So the cool air is going to be confined here for the beginning of December. But watch the changes with the jet stream. By December 8th through the 14th, we will be under the influence of that cold side of the jet stream where temperatures will really start feeling winter like as we reach into the middle parts of the month, but it's going to take a little while to get there. We're standing at 50 even with the sun down, but notice that wind flow south southeast at eight miles per hour. So that's why we're only at 44 degrees in Waukegan. Compare that to 56 right now in Kankakee. Mild air sitting out here. Look at this 68 in St. Louis, 58 in Des Moines. Even the Twin Cities holding at 57 degrees. A lot of that mild air is trying to sneak closer to Chicago. So is the cloud cover, but not the rain yet. The rain is still here over the Dakotas. That's going to be moving in first chance tomorrow after lunch. So you'll start out dry in the morning, but then a few showers in the afternoon tomorrow. So we're dry tonight. Steady temperatures in the city about 47 degrees, but those gusty southwest winds will be around and that will carry us to 57 tomorrow with afternoon showers. So still going way above normal. 57 in Kankakee, 58 in Rensselaer and Portage. Gone is that lake cooling. So we'll see about 53 for a high in Zion. And as we look at future cast here to pinpoint the rain chances. It looks like by 1130 or noon we'll have cloud cover over us. Not the rain yet, but the rain will be there by 5 or 530, but it's only about a 30% chance of a shower that's going to be pushing through and then we clear out by the time Wednesday rolls around. So it's this first front that we're tracking for tomorrow. Wednesday is our dry day with high pressure and control and then our next system for Thursday. That one's going to be moving in, but Wednesday looks nice and quiet for us. So the seven day forecast stays warmer than normal. Rain chances a little bit tomorrow afternoon. Better chance on Thursday, but all seven guys above average temperatures. All right, we'll take it. Thanks, Mary Kay.